Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is me going over Q4 of the recent contest, minimum number of days to eat an oranges. So, okay, I'll be straight with about this poem. I don't know how to solve it. Um, I know, I know. I finished nine from the contest. I've solved this poem in five minutes or I, you know, submitted it and got AC. So I did a proof by AC. Um, but I actually don't know how to solve this. Um, I have one conjecture. Um, and so, Later on, I will do a code review of other contestants to kind of see how they solve it because I want to learn myself. Um, and this is what people sometimes do, is that sometimes they guess, I YOLO an answer, um, I guessed an answer, and if, if it was wrong, I was willing to kind of figure out how to make it right. But I just wanted, you know, just, I didn't, you know, I didn't need to prove it correct. I just wanted to see how it's correct. Um, so basically, the idea is that, okay, you have three things you can do at every day. Um, you could eat one orange, so it's n minus n minus one. Uh, you could eat half the oranges, so it's n divided by two. And then you could eat a third of the oranges. Oh, sorry, you could eat two thirds of the oranges, so it's n equals to n over three, right? So based off these three things, um, I just did a dynamic programming mem memorization. So my conjecture was that, um, and I don't know what this constant is, is, is a magic constant. I might have to do some ma like actual proofs and math to find it. And cause I'm not very good at the move, the proof, the mathematical proofs, uh, to be frank. So basically my idea was that, okay, if the number is big enough and I don't know what number is big enough, right? Um, if the number is big enough, then then if the number is big enough, it doesn't make sense to eat one apple, right? Like if you have a billion apples, there's no way the answer is going to be, um, you know, a billion days, right? Um, my, my guess would be like, okay, so it takes, um, you know, like it'll be approximately uh, n log 3 plus constant or something like that, right? So I knew that was, um, you know, beyond a certain point, uh, it doesn't make sense. Um, so the the nuance in what my approach was that okay, but I also know that if it's small enough number of days, there will be tricky combination of okay. But I have to eat. I have to uh, like if a number is uh, dividable by six, maybe I have to eat. You know, eat, 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 uh half the half the apples half the sometimes, and I have to eat uh, two thirds of the apples some other times, right? So there'll be some linear combination of that. Um, uh, in terms of tries and and maybe even eat one apple a couple of times. So there's some like weird, uh, not weird, just like a lot of combination things you have to try, right? So I know that uh, with dynamic programming, I can cache this and I can, you know, do the very brute force naive way. Um, but, but, I, but yeah, that, that's how I attacked this problem. Uh, and I was able to solve it really quickly for top 10. Uh, a little bit lucky on my end. I really don't know how to prove this. Uh, maybe I have to play around some maps or some exhaustive search if I were proved to. So I'm going to do some code review afterwards. But but yeah, uh, that's how I solved this uh, based off a conjecture and a guess on an observation. And if you ask how I make this observation, some of it is just, to be frank, a lot of practice. Uh, it's about having this intuition about playing around with these problems and mathematical properties enough that, you know, you could make a reasonable guess. Um, and you may ask if, you know, what if this is wrong, right? And I was like, I was ready for this to be wrong, to be frank, also. Uh, and then I might have, well, I know that um, in a, like almost like a binary search, I could have made this number bigger. I think that was the approach that I could have because basically the bigger number it is, the more the more accurate it's going to be it's just that you know maybe the like there's going to be a um there's going to be a number in which you have to brute force it and I, that number may be bigger than 10 uh 2 to the 10 which is why I chose 1024 um it could be maybe i don't know right so so i would have played around with numbers of that um and maybe I would have done something locally to kind of figure out a big case, real uh, correct number for a real case, and just play around. Um, but to be frank, I really have no proof about this. So, uh, so yeah. So you're gonna watch me do a code review of other contestants afterwards. Uh, stay tuned. And then after that, you can see me solve it in the contest. So you could, you know, like I said, I don't know how I got to this. So yeah, uh, stay tuned. Hehe. <laughs> but hit the like while you're here. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And join me on Discord. And. Okay, so I did think about this problem a little bit more, and I think the way that I would fix it, um, if I couldn't have got, I mean, I maybe I think my 
initial thing of changing the constant would still work. But the way that I would think about it is that instead of um, instead of doing this thing, the cost of so you know that you're going to eat at least so you almost never want to eat just one orange um, unless you have exactly one orange. Uh, so you want to always take either the two or the three, whichever one's lower, right? And then from that, what I would change is just change something like this. Um, instead of doing that, I would go. What does it mean to go to two oranges, right? Well, the cost is this plus the cost to it is to go to, uh, you know, that number. And same for three. Basically, if x mod three is two, then it takes two to go to the next multiple of three, uh, and so forth. And this also is the you know. If it's odd number, that means you have to eat one apple or orange to get to an even number so that you could do this x star by two. Uh, and if it's even, then you don't have to do it, right? But that's kind of the idea. And once you do that, um, I think that should be also good enough. Uh, yeah, so so that's the way that I would do it. But um, yeah, uh, really tricky problem. Uh, I think, to be honest, as I said, um, in a contest, I just try to start with as quickly as possible. And sometimes it will require hacks uh, to kind of get that more up and a little bit of luck to get that time. Sometimes not, right? So this time I got a little bit lucky. I'm going to appreciate it and I'm going to enjoy being in the top 10. Uh, let me know what you think and you can watch me solve a lot during the contest now. And it's big. It's just one third.
有了。